Hello friends, I am Neeraj. Welcome to the new episode of Full Stack Web Development using React.js and Go Fiber. In this uh, session, we will see about the file uploading functionality. So in our add new record form, so here I am going to uh, add a file upload feature so that user can uh, upload a file from its file system and we will save that file in our server. Okay. So it would be a two-step process. So first of all, so we will need to work on our UI and then we will work on our server side so that we can save the file on the server. So it would be a two-step process and believe me, so this is not too much complex, but yes, so we have to work. So let us dive into VS Code and first of all, so let us work on the UI part. So first of all, so we will create a new column and uh, we will add that uh, input area for the file upload and let's say we will call it as a image and uh, we don't require that rather so we will need to specify that uh, we are going to use a, the input the type of this input would be a file and uh, we will also have this image and uh, we will uh, register this element as image and uh, we don't require the validation if you require so you can add the validation no, no problem so like this and uh, like this and uh, if we come back to our here so we are having this uh, image type image upload type okay so now so let us collect it here so first of all let us see about uh, if we do a console log with the data so and uh, we should see about the uh, uploaded files so let us open the console and uh, we will say test test and we will select a random file and uh, i cl will clear the console so here we are getting this uh, new element as well and it is an array so this is a uploaded file okay so now let us continue to resume work on uh, our this ui part so in order to send the file as a payload uh, in the request payload so we need to specify the header as well in our axios calls so we need to specify that uh, this uh, request is going to have content type and that would be multi-part form data then only so uh, our uploaded file would be available on the server and also so what i am going to do is i am going to create a new key in our data uh, in our form payload is json data and uh, i'll so that uh, since we are uploading a single file so there is no need to pass it as an array and uh, later on so i'll set it as null we will save it so our ui part is should be complete hopefully so so we will cross check it very soon so we will initiate a new call and we will say test upload test upload and we will select a random file and i'll open up this uh, network tab as well we will see that so it is returning and uh, we in the in the payload you can see that this file also got uh, that was also also part of this payload fine so now it's time to work on our server side so let us dive in the on uh, in the server side and uh, first of all as a convention so all the custom uploaded files so usually we store that in a static directory so we will create a static directory and inside a static we will also create a uploads directory so we will upload our file inside this location okay and uh, we will come back in our block create and uh, here so 
we will be working on the file upload function so we will say i'll add a comment so file upload and uh, in order to collect the file so we will use the form file function and uh, that returns a file object and an error as well so we will say c dot form file so believe me so fiber does all the heavy lifting for us so this is pretty pretty i mean very very easy one so our file uh, and all we have to specify the key of our uh, payload, payload payload key so our key is named as file and it re re it uh, may return an error so we will collect it we will cross check for any error so we will check if there is no error if there is if error is not nil then we will log the error and uh, error in file upload and uh, we will see the error fine and uh, if there is no error then we will proceed for the file upload so we will say file and uh, this file object uh, that uh, has uh, we can also check for the size as well so i am going to check if the file dot size is greater than zero then only i'll upload the file and uh, for uploading the file so let me also create a variable for the file location as well so we are going to upload inside the static uploads and so our file name would be so this would be our uh, complete path on the server and uh, then we will simply say c dot save file and uh, this first of all so we need to specify the file object and second the file name as a string and it also return it may return an error so we can also check for the error as well so we will say so this is a short out notation of a if and error is not nil then we will simply log the error log dot print ln and we will say error in file uploading and the full error okay so this looks fine and uh, one more thing that uh, since this already returns a pointer so this new is a basically a constructor like thing so it should work so let us check that so right now our uploads directory is empty so let us try to create a, a new record with the sample file so we will see nearest post with image and uh, we will select uh, a random file and uh, we will hit save so looks like our file got created or so there is no error at all and uh, if we come back come to here so looks like our file didn't got uploaded let, let us check okay so no such file or directory static uploads static okay okay so actually this was uh, there was uh, there was a typo so this is uh, uploads yes now it should work okay so once again upload a new file again and uh, one more time and uh, we will select a random file hit save so yes this so this time this uh, file got uploaded and uh, there is no error at all and uh, this way so we completed our uh, ui part as as well as our server side server part 
and uh, everything works works fine and uh, like uh, we can also go one step further that uh, we can also save this uh, file in our database as well so in order to do that so we simply need to change uh, we will create another uh, another element in our struct form a struct field and we will say it as an image and json would be our image and it may uh, it, it 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 can accept a null value and we will say image and uh, if we check in our database so with the auto migration so one field should have been created should uh, let, let us check that so yes one field uh, is already created and uh, this time now all we have to do is that uh, before saving this data and uh, here in the so if there is no error then we will simply save it set the image and uh, we will set it as file name okay so this looks fine let me also add a comment here set image complete path to the struct so that it can be saved in the database so let us also check it uh, one more time and uh, new record new record with image and uh, we will select a random file and uh, hit save so looks like uh, it has been saved and if we cross check here so yes so this uh, record id having id 50 so this uh, uh, this uh, this this complete path also got also got saved in the database and uh, our file also got saved so we will check in the statics uploads so yes our file is also also there so this way so we uh, we have seen how we can very how easily we can uh, uh, implement the file upload functionality so that's all for this session and uh, i hope i hope uh, you enjoyed this session very very much and if you have anything to say so please do let me know in the comment section and uh, i'll see you in some other session so till then take care and happy coding